Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football and we have some major breaking news to bring you on this Saturday the 4th of November and Chelsea have confirmed that following their match against Aston Villa today that Emma Hayes will leave the club at the end of the season to do to pursue a new opportunity outside of the WSL and club football, which is absolutely massive. So Emma Hayes joined the club back in 2012 and during her time at the club, she's won six WSL titles, five women FA Cups, two uh, women's league cups and a FA Women's Spring Series trophy and one FA Women's Community Shield, which is absolutely um, fantastic and has put herself in great stead as one of the top managers in the women's game. Um, it's been a fantastic start to this season already for Chelsea, uh, top of the league after winning against Aston Villa uh, comfortably and they look like they're continuing to go from strength to strength and it is um, such a big, big shock uh, that has came out of the world of women's football that Emma Hayes is to leave the WSL side Chelsea at the end of the season and club football. Where does that leave her uh, options of well, there's been many murmurs that she could potentially head to an international job at uh, potentially the United States. Obviously, they're looking for a head coach following uh, Vlatko Andonovsky leaving. Could she potentially become the Spanish head coach and take over Monse Tomre? It's obviously a lot of questions. Or will she take some time out of football to be with her family and step away for maybe a year or so? It is obviously... Um, massive breaking news obviously it's going to be one that uh, uh, will take a while to set in for a few fans and uh, will shock many for the rest of the uh, season and it's going to be a massively big loss for Chelsea where do they go from here I mean they've got quality players so attracting their top manager shouldn't be that hard of an option for uh, Chelsea to do I mean you look at the likes of Sam Kerr, uh, Millie Bride, uh, Zachira Musovic in goal um, some great young players coming through, Mia Fisher, official, Katarina Macario, Aki Beaver Jones. So it's a really good squad and it will be a massive uh, undertaking who would take on that job. But um, it's really going to be extremely exciting and interesting to see how the rest of this season plays out. Obviously, the one trophy that has eluded Chelsea and Emma Hayes to date is the uh, Champions League. Obviously, they got to the final a couple years back, uh, but they ultimately lost to Barcelona, so they'll be hoping that they can get all the way to uh, the San Mamés next year and lift that trophy. So with that Champions League, obviously, that starts in uh, a couple of weeks' time for Chelsea. Um, they are in a group alongside uh, I. Uh, S BK Hacken, Paris FC and uh, Real Madrid so it's a fairly winnable group for them obviously Paris FC we know that have been the strong side in the European game this season uh, but Chelsea will fancy themselves winning there so it would be a really nice end to her tenure at Chelsea if she can leave with the Chelsea uh, with the Champions League trophy under her belt and say that she has accomplished everything and won all competitions uh, that she has entered in with, Ch with Chelsea um, it's massively shocking news. I wasn't expecting that. And um, yeah, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how the rest of this season now plays out for Chelsea. Can they send Emma Hayes out on a high, winning as many trophies as possible? But the big breaking news of the day is that Emma Hayes will leave Chelsea at the end of the season. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can never miss out on a video of ours. Make sure you are following us on Twitter and on Instagram for the latest news and stories from around the world of women's football and that you're following our podcast wherever you get your podcasts from at Women's Football Talk to search that on any podcast app and our website womensfootballtalk.substack.com for all the latest. And in the meantime, we'll see you soon.